Picky Penguins. This is Nico B. And I'm here this video to announce the winners of the channel banner art competition. That's right, it's the moment you've all been fucking demon waiting for. Hope you're ready, because the results of this competition are gonna blow your fucking mind. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because, good freaking lord, the reception for this contest was amazing. There were so many amazing entries. Like, I cannot stress to you enough just how, how many unbelievable ones there were. I was honestly wasn't sure what to expect, you know? I, I, I'd never held a competition like this, and, I mean, I know I have 95,000 people, but... You know, I mean, only a select few really are probably would call themselves artists and would really be interested in this kind of thing. So I wouldn't really sure. I thought maybe I'd just get like maybe 20 or 30 or something like that. We got a total of 145 entries for the contest. Fuck yeah. Oh, I can feel the picky penguin love. Ah. But seriously, just thank you guys so much for your participation. I mean, and that wasn't just, not just the, the images you guys sent me, but also the messages that you sent along with the images. They, they really meant a lot to me, and a lot, of, a lot of the stories you guys told about, like, you know, what brought you to the channel, how long you've been watching it, it really touched me, and uh, I just want you guys to know how much that really meant to me. And because the uh, turnout for this was just so good, I, I feel like I need to sort of uh, up the ante a bit on the prizes here. So, um, for... Uh, second and below, I'm actually going to increase the dollar value, and I'm also going to add, uh, in addition to the second and third place, I'm also going to add two fourth place. And it's two fourth place ones because I honestly, in this instance, I, I just can't decide which one I like better than the other. So, so I'm just going to give two fourth place prizes. So originally, in addition to the first place Keyblade, second place was a $100 gift, Amazon gift card, and third place was a $50 Amazon gift card. I'm up, upping the uh, second place to $125 Amazon gift card. Third place is now going to be an $85 Amazon gift card. And both fourth places will be a $50 Amazon gift card. And of course, first place will still remain the same Keyblade as before. But God, there were so many entries. And it really, you guys... You guys made this difficult for me, all right? Too many freaking talented people out there. God dang it. Damn you all and your fucking amazing abilities. Also, just so you know, the first place prize will most definitely be the banner for the YouTube channel. But as for uh, second to fourth, I haven't quite decided which banner I'm going to put with which social network. Honestly, I kind of treat them all equally. It's kind of just going to depend on, I think, which uh, dimensions of each piece fits each social network the best because each social network's dimensions are a little different I, I, but I want to be able to show off as much of everyone's artwork as I can anyway before I get into the winners I first want to do a highlight of every entry that I received yes sir that's right every single one I made a promise at the beginning of this that I would uh, show I would highlight everyone's entries and I, I know this might take a little while but I do want to take a moment show off how unbelievably talented you penguins are all right but first I need some fucking epic music and because you guys are probably tired of listening to Rage Awake and eight million times thought i'd mix it up this time with one of my new favorite songs from the latest birth by sleep game cue the music
so many, so many good entries, guys. It just amazing. Guys, make picking five winners incredibly difficult. One thing I do want to note, and I, I want to make this perfectly clear, that this is simply my opinion. It's entirely subjective, okay? If you don't get picked here, don't beat yourself up. Don't think that it means you, I thought your entry was bad. No, I, I more than likely I thought it was awesome too. Like I said, there were so many amazing pieces here. The competition was fucking stiff. And it's entirely based on my own personal preference, you know, whatever that is. And I'm sure quite a few of you penguins will have a differing opinion from what I have. Hell, I freaking expect it. I call you guys picky penguins for a reason, you know. But however, I will say for each entry that I, I list here, I will try to give my reason for choosing it. But without further ado, let's start with the two fourth place winners. Okay, the first fourth place winner is Quantum Jinx with uh, their submission. I love the style of this one. I love how everyone really looks exactly like their counterparts. We're all holding some beautiful sea salt ice cream because there cannot be any other kind. And uh, I feel like you really nailed like Bernie's little French bulldog face too. I like how Monokuma is sort of up front here but has a sort of darker outline to kind of stand out to make me look hot. That's right, you can all get down and suck my nuggets. Seven hanging out with Q, he's like, man, look at me, I didn't even show up in that last game. That was kind of horse shit. Who the hell is this kid even supposed to be? You think you're more important than I am? I got an acorn on my head, damn it. We have Brad and Buddy, Sans and Papyrus, and of course, everyone's favorite goat mom, Yunarkami Nanako, Gato in the back, kissing his beautiful cup of crack coffee. And the judge and his beloved Kermado with his bag of bullshit bagels. This one was just really well executed. I love the colors. It's beautiful. Thank you, Quantum Jinx. Okay, the next fourth place winner, because like I said, I couldn't pick between these two, is, hopefully I'm saying this right, Ho Hotaro Sui with their submission. It's funny, the moment I saw this, I actually recognized your art style from another piece of art that you had uh, drawn for me, uh, uh, I think about a year or two ago. And I didn't really realize it, it until I, I started this contest, but when I went to look back at that picture, I was like, oh, that was actually drawn at the exact dimensions of the YouTube channel banner artwork. Sort of hint, hint, Nico. That was probably what it was intended for. If I were fucking smarter, I would have figured that out. But honestly, I think this entry is even better than your last one was. So many wonderful references. First, I gotta say, I just love the sort of traditional looking style about it. You know, your characters have a have a distinct feel and look about them. So I was able to recognize it was one of your pictures almost immediately. We got Moshirige with a freaking cast on his arm. And I think I might be wearing my uh, Horny Rangers outfit. We got Teddy when he's like deflated. You barely see Fukawa's face rubbing against Tagami. He's like, ah, get away from me, weirdo. Oh, I didn't even see. There's Miyuri there. I think she's holding on, holding up on the side of the SSLP. We got, I believe, Horny Rangers. That are uh, the Rangers from, from Lisa the Painful. Axel, Roxas, Sora. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, like I keep noticing things I didn't even realize before. I see I see Phoenix and I see Maya's face is like Yes! Oh my god, it's so freaking beautiful! Right between her, him and Edgeworth. Oh, uh, I love little Bernie sitting on top of my head. In the background we see we see a beautiful turkey bagel sandwich. The Aya guy, Aya, you suck crapping Igor's giant nostrils. Kameda and Judge like just going, ah, ah. Everything's just really well done from the positioning of the characters and the, the line art and the colors. So thank you, Atar, for your amazing artwork. Okay, third place and winner of an $85 Amazon gift card is Starry Night Sky with their entry. Uh, this makes me want to just go to the beach. The colors are wonderful in this picture. I love how it's framed where we start on the land, but as you go to the left, you can, s you can see underwater penguins playing around the bubbles, like we got Missile, the Monokuma in the back, a bunch of bagels, the Keyblade, and even some Persona cards, and a Persona 5 mask, ready and waiting for that P5 Let's Play. And we got Edgeworth and myself back in the back, yelling at the ocean. So we're wondering why there's sea salt ice cream in the ocean. Oh wait, sea, because it's sea salt. I love the soft lines for this picture, and little Bernie sitting alongside me and Chiaki. It's a beautiful piece. Thank you very much, Starry Night Sky. Okay, second place winner, and the winner of a $125 Amazon gift card is... No Renoko with their entry. Holy mother of bagels, the references in this. So much stuff is happening, and it's amazing. Just imagining the amount of time it must have taken to just get down character placement and have to like map out all the different moving parts of what's happening is like, oh my God, it's so good though. We got hot dogs, we got bagels, we got penguins, Bernie flying, missile flying. Jackie rubbing up against me. Monokuma, Monami. Clavier! I gave Moshirike in his console of voices outfit. Ah! 
Even in this channel, better artwork, I'm still fucking dying! Bad Ace. Even got Persona 5's Morgana over in the corner. Freaking Roxas. Shinjuku! The SLP. The more I look at it again, I just see, like, I see so many references. And, and everybody just perfectly matches their original game counterparts. And I think you did a really masterful job of bringing together all these different styles and uh, making it into your own. Oh, I, was, I can even see a little unversed in the bottom there. It was artfully drawn. I love the shading and I love the coloring. A picture truly of deserving of being in the top five. Thank you, No Renoko. And now, the moment we've all been fucking waiting for. Yes, this is it. The winner of first place and winner of their very own Kingdom Keyblade, like the one right behind me. Wait, wait. The first place winner being the channel banner artwork and also winner of their very own fucking Keyblade, just like this, is Bobby Big Potatoes with their entry. First, I just want to say I love your I love your username. The first time I saw this picture, it kind of took my breath away. It's just so much character has been put into this picture. I love the expressions of everyone, even just like the individual penguins. They all show a unique motion. The whole aesthetic reminds me a bit of like a Disney film or something. It's it's so well put together. I love Bernie's designs. She, she reminds me a bit of Stitch. It just ah, uh, she looks so squishy sitting on my head like that. I also saw the artist mention that, uh, and I probably wouldn't have noticed this, but my jacket is uh, sort of like based off the lingering will. I see it now from the like the little chains that came out during that fight. Of course, I'm holding my fucking badass keyblade like I always do. We got Shiaki and Sora and Maya with their yaoi. I love Roxas's and Yu's expression here. The Looking at Monokubo, Roxas is thinking he's a heartless, and then you got you who's thinking he's Persona. So clever, so clever. You got Phoenix Wright over there showing off to Nagi and Hajime the proper way to point and yell at things. Sissel, beautifully colored, and Morgana checking out what the hell is up with this weird fruit. Left, we have, of course, the SSLP itself <laughs> with the lingering will just chilling out at the top. And Aqua and Ventus wondering what the fuck he's doing. Got it with the stern of the ship. I, I, stern, right? I'm not very good at nautical shit. But anyway, I've, I'm up here with my coffee. If you didn't notice me. And of course, I'm down here trading bagels with these random penguins. Hello, would you care for the sesame seed bagel weird penguin? Uh, no, I, I don't, I don't want it. Come on, it looks delicious. No, get away from me! The colors are beautiful. Everything is just wonderfully laid out it's the character oozing from every bit of this picture it's an amazing piece of art and one that i am happy to call the winner of this contest so thank you bobby big potatoes you and your wonderful potatoes i wonder how many potatoes went into the making of this picture <laughs> and with that this concludes the channel banner artwork contest thank you guys so much for your entries there are some amazing pieces of artwork i know a number of you are probably going to recommend that because there are so many entries uh, that I, I switch out the banners or something after a few months. I've seen some people already recommend that. I'm a little against doing that because I don't really want to rob uh, the, the winners of their prizes, you know? I feel like if I just cycle through them, you know, like after a, a month or two, it, it sort of like kind of defeats part of the pr purpose of the contest, if that makes sense. However, I do have other ideas in mind for using a lot of this amazing artwork. For example, I, I do plan to use them as uh, thumbnails for certain videos, as well as the default video picture that shows up on my Twitch live stream. The, you know, I'm not talking about the banner, I'm talking about the, the actual video player. There's a picture that usually sits there by default. I thought maybe it would be a good idea to switch that out, like, weekly or bi-weekly for every live stream and then have a link to the artist down below so you can support them. There are so many amazing pieces of art. I do really want to find uh, other ways to use this artwork because I don't want to let it go to waste. But thank you guys so much for all your hard work. It really is just, it's just, it's awe-inspiring, really. It was really hard, all right, to decide the winners. I probably changed my mind like 20 times just trying to figure out like which one's the best ones. I'm gonna wait a few days before I uh, I put the pictures up on my social media sites because I do wanna just give some time to, to people to see this video and be kind of surprised when they see the winners. You know, not spoil the results by having it, having it already up on the page. To the winners, I'm gonna be reaching out to you probably through whatever social media you decide to post it on. So DeviantArt or Twitter. So keep an eye out for that. Again, thank you guys so much for your submissions and for your support. It really has been just incredibly motivating for me. Thank you for helping me hit the channel. Of course, to grow to 95,000. We're almost there, guys. Almost 100K. And for those of you who are wondering what I'm going to do for 100K is I'm going to do a draw my life. Just because that's the thing I had always told. 
I had always promised if I ever managed to somehow magically hit 100,000 subscribers, I would, I would do one of those. So, but anyway, as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.